Welcome to Yolo, Texas. I'm Erin Carreño, born and raised in the beautiful Lone Star State. Ride shotgun with me as we visit breathtaking views. Is this really my job right now? This is so awesome. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Holy moly! That is strong. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to YOLO Texas, the show that gives you an in-depth look at the can't-miss adventures and destinations all around Texas. I'm your host AC, and up first we're headed to a place that'll make your heart pound, your skin crawl, and have you shaking in your boots by the time this is all over. And the best part, you're gonna love every single minute of it. So come along, cause you're about to get the scare of your life. Ah, uh, Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Such a fun place to laugh and have a great time with the whole entire family. At least until Halloween season rolls around and the sun goes down. San Antonio at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, which usually is a normal theme park, but right now it is an all-out fright fest with scary rides, haunted mazes, and so much more. I haven't even walked a few feet in, and I'm already scared. Wish me good luck. One of the six bone-chilling mazes this park has to offer, the brand new Blood Bayou Haunted Trail it takes you deep inside the woods to a spooky family camp where mysterious creatures play among their innocent campers. So right now we're about to go in the Blood Bayou, which is some haunted creepy trail I can't even fathom, can't even bring to words what's about to go down. Wish me good luck, here we go, it's all or nothing. I'm just holding my breath this whole entire time. I don't know what's gonna pop up. Pop <laughs> Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You can stay there. Stay there. We're good. We're good. Uh. <laughs> okay, they're just vines, okay? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still a ways to go, and my voice is already cracking. <laughs> ah! All right, so we just went through the blood trail, the blood bayou, and now it's time for a haunted house at Buried Alive. Welcome to my Dr. Mike. Don't touch my miners, they won't touch you. <laughs> you ready to head to the bottom? No, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's get to work. Wait right there, the elevator will be here in a moment. Next, it was off to tackle Carnival. This fun house turned nightmare features a twisted circus of horrors filled with crazy clowns and nightmarish illusions that'll have even the biggest thrill seekers running. Give me up! Ah! 
That one was super scary. All clowns, they even chase you. So scary. And it was 3D the whole entire time. Pretty cool, but scary at the same time. Never again. <laughs> All right, so up next, we're gonna be done with this haunted houses, all the mazes, and we're actually gonna go see something really fun, a show. Let's go. This show that we do is Monster Mash Bash. We have monsters from the water and also some that would never look Frankenstein. All of these stereotypical monsters, but also some ones that you couldn't think of before. Anyone who likes classic rock, I would say, would love this show. Now y'all ready to have a good time tonight? Let's go, baby! The thing that um, I love the most about being part of this show is that you see us and it's Halloween and it's monsters, but we incorporate mainstream songs and all those rock and they all have different tempos and we can reach all those moods um, while still keeping true to the Halloween theme. Needless to say, this show did not disappoint. And one other must during Fright Fest is riding one of their thrilling roller coasters completely in the dark. With four very haunted coasters, each with their own frightening theme, you'll definitely be screaming at the top of your lungs, never knowing what twist, turn, or creatures lying ahead. Overall, Fright Fest turned out to be pretty fun, although I probably won't be getting much sleep tonight. But before I go home, I thought I'd do one more terrifying ride with this 205 foot drop. Because, well, you know our motto, you only live once, Texas. Want to experience Fright Fest BS in Texas for yourself? Well, visit the link below to learn more. Want to see where we're headed next? Then like us on Facebook to check out even more YOLO Texas approved adventures or to recommend one of your own. Stick around because up next we're taking YOLO Texas to new heights to check out Cypress Valley Canopy Tours. Stick around. Hey y'all and welcome back to YOLO Texas, your destination for all things great about the great state of Texas. So here at YOLO Texas, we're always looking for ways for you to pack in as much adventure as possible. So anytime we can combine a few musty activities into a single day, well, we gotta check it out. And when we heard about a place that would satisfy thrill seekers, eco warriors, fun loving families, and tiny house fans, well, we had to check it out. That's why for our next YOLO Texas excursion, we're headed to Spicewood and taking to the skies, literally, with Cypress Valley Canopy Tours. We're going zip lining, y'all. Located just outside of Austin and a short drive from San Antonio and Fredericksburg, Cypress Valley Canopy Tours offers an eco-adventure that lets you experience the hill country from a new angle while keeping this accessible for the young and the young at heart. Plus, at Cypress Valley, zip lining is just part of the adventure. It's also one of the most unique places you could spend the night in all of Texas, an eco-friendly retreat from the outside world. Okay, Shelby is now with us right now and you are the general manager here at Cypress Valley Canopy Tours and uh, let me get this straight. So people can rent out houses but they're all in trees? Yes ma'am, we've got four beautiful tree houses tucked in old growth cypress trees right here at Cypress Valley. Oh wonderful, wonderful and it's kind of blowing my mind, uh, I think it's pretty cool. So do you think we could get a little tour of all the things that you offer here that we could possibly stay in? Absolutely, let's go do it. Awesome. This is so cute, I love it out here. The views are gorgeous. This is the perfect way to just start your morning off with a cup of joe with a beautiful view. So we are now approaching our Loft Haven tree house. So this is our, our romantic couple's tree house. The real magic happens when you open the door. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Sign me up, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to come back and spend the night here. 
And that was before I found the private bathhouse, located across the footbridge and back on solid ground. Oh, wow. What? There's a waterfall? How cool! Yep, the bathhouse comes with a breakfast bar, shower, and a waterfall. See if you could get that at the local hotel. Okay, I'm standing here with Amy, the owner of Cypress Valley Canopy Tours. I have to ask, how did you come up with this idea to open up such a unique place? Well, it was in 2004 when we first started building the Canopy Tours, and uh, my partner had gone to Costa Rica and participated in a zipline canopy tour down there. Okay. Came back and said, we could do that. Our trees are big enough. And, and the rest of the family looked at him like he was crazy. <laughs> 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 do you want people flying through our creek? What are you talking yeah. about? But then we started looking at it, and it was such a great way to share the property with other people, but we couldn't figure out a way to do it without ruining it. Yes. So the canopy tours lets people really get immersed in the ravine without trampling anything or without us having to make pathways that would destroy the ecosystem for the animals. After my tour though, it was time for the main event. And after a quick demo, we geared up and took to the trees. The Cypress Valley canopy tour takes about two hours as you traverse through the trees on five zip lines, two sky bridges, and a rappel to the ground to finish off. So I'm not afraid of heights, but I'm not not afraid of heights. But you know the name of the show, it's Yellow Texas. So let's go. Yellow. Excellent. Oh yeah. That was warm -up. Oh man, that was so cool. Seeing the view from that perspective, I kind of felt like a bird or maybe more like a flying squirrel. <laughs> If you've ever gone zip lining, you know the feeling. But doing it through towering cypress trees 40 feet in the air, that's tough to beat. So there's also two of these sky bridges that you can walk across, and it kind of makes you feel like you're in an Indiana Jones movie or something. Try with no hands, Aaron. You got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, it was a little bit harder than I thought. And with the course finished, all that was left to do was to get back to level ground. Okay, so you have the option to rappel down Army Ranger style or taking the easy way out, but I'm feeling good, gotten used to the height, so I'm going for it. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Woo! Nicely done. Or you can just kick back, relax, and indulge your inner kid in a tree house beyond your wildest imagination. Hopefully I don't fall. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna take a snooze and call it a day. Peace out. Want to schedule a tour for yourself or for your company? Go to cypressvalleycanopytours.com to plan your trip today. And if you're looking for some more Yellow Texas approved excursions or want to recommend one for yourself, just give us a like on Facebook. Don't go anywhere just yet because after the break, we're headed to check out a very different kind of skiing destination as we head to Texas Ski Ranch right here on Yolo, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yolo, Texas. Now, Texas is known for its big, beautiful ranches, the horses, the cattle, the wide open spaces, it is all here. But as you'll see, we found a ranch in between Austin and San Antonio that's a little different from the rest. Let's just say you may be trading in those cowboy boots for a sweet pair of water skis. So saddle up because we're off to the one and only Texas Ski Ranch. From wakeboarding to water skiing to paintball and more, the 70-acre Action Sports Paradise is dubbed one of the top-ranked facilities in the world. Yep, I said it, the world. All right, I'm here with Morgan, the general manager here at Texas Ski Ranch, and I have to ask, tell me a little bit more about the history behind this, all, this whole entire place. How did a Texas ski resort end up in New Braunfels, Texas of all places? We are actually the first cable park in Texas, uh, second or maybe third in the nation. Um, this whole system started in Germany. We originally started just as a boat dealership with a private boat lake. Um, we then added the cable and from there it's just expanded into this huge 70 acre action sports complex with so much to offer. I said so much to offer. What is there to do? What makes this so unique? What makes it stand out? We also offer, besides just the water sports, we actually have a snowboarding hill as well as a paintball course, a trampoline park, a skate park, a restaurant and bar, retail <laughs> shop, 
and then the boat dealership. You so got it all here. Ton, yeah. Okay, so out of all the things that you listed, what should we start with first? Well, considering it's about 100 degrees outside, I'd say <laughs> let's go ahead and jump in the water and try the wakeboarding. Let's do it, I'm ready. Our first stop, Cable Park. Sometimes called the Disney World of Water Cable Parks, this stunt-filled lake is home to one of the strongest communities of riders anywhere. But having a good time doesn't mean you have to be a pro, or in my case, have water skied or wakeboarded your entire life. Ever. I'll do this one. <laughs> okay, I have to admit I was a little nervous, but you know what they say, you only live once. So with one more equipment check, I was off. And if that wasn't enough, conquering the waves was just the beginning of my Texas Ski Ranch experience. Next up, paintball. Sporting some pretty cool obstacles to provide cover, this outdoor paintball arena has two fun-filled courses that are sure to bring out the competitive side in just about anyone. Whew. All right, let's do this. And even in the thick of it, I still try to find some time to do an interview. All righty, I have a scale of one through 10. How many times have you won? A solid seven or eight times. All right, I like those odds. Hold my mic. Ooh, that really got my adrenaline going, but now it's time to try something a little bit more my speed. Let's go. The trampoline park. Now this is more like it. 15,000 square feet of spring floors, tumble tracks, and my favorite, trampoline dodgeball. I gotta say, there's something about jumping on a trampoline that really makes you feel like a kid again. I could do this all day. Yeah, paintball's fun, but trampoline dodgeball is my jam. All right, that was definitely amazing. I'm gonna go show the other team who's boss, but in the meantime, YOLO, Texas. <laughs> if you wanna learn more about scheduling a YOLO, Texas adventure for yourself, go to texasskiranch.com to learn more. And don't forget, it's a big state to explore with adventure just around the corner. So get out there, Texas. You only live once. Don't head out just yet because there's one more adventure right here on Yolo, Texas as we head out to San Antonio to check out the river. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yolo, Texas. Now for our last Texas adventure, we're headed to the southernmost city of the Texas Triangle and a place that has a special place in my heart. That's right, I'm talking Alamo City, Military City, USA, good old San Antonio. So come on y'all, let's take a drive. Obviously, there's so much to do and see in San Antonio, we couldn't possibly cover it all in one show. So today's journey is taking us into the great outdoors just south of downtown, where we're seeing a whole new part of the city in a whole new way. The iconic San Antonio River is a major part of the history and identity of the city. It's hard to believe today, but way back in 1928, there were plans to pave over the river until plans were submitted for what would become the Riverwalk, the jewel of downtown San Antonio. Today, though, the San Antonio River has so much more to offer than just what's downtown. Which brings me to Mission Kayak, where any second now I'm going to get suited up for my very first kayaking experience. Pretty cool. And if you're thinking kayaking isn't for you because you're picturing roaring waterfalls and white water rapids, well, think again, because this pleasure cruise is not only scenic, it's stable and has a touch of a current to keep things moving. Easy trip for even the most inexperienced paddlers like myself. What do you say we go ahead and check it out? All right, I am here with the owner of Mission Kayak and Mission Adventure, Sarah Neal. And I did say Mission Adventures, it's expanded than just more kayaking. So what does that all entail? So Mission Adventure Tours now entails kayaking. Uh, it also entails bike tours and running tours as well. So the stretch that we're able to kayak right here is from Roosevelt Park all the way down here to Espada Park and we offer three different tours. We offer a two mile tour, uh, real simple, two shoots, great for families with young kids. Uh, we have a three mile tour that's um, a little more advanced. Then we have the five mile tour, which is um, a very exclusive tour. There's 22 shoots on that one. It takes four to five hours and you need to be really fit. And almost, those are almost totally guided tours. Book now. <laughs> Come out, enjoy it. Look at all this. Before I hit the water, I get a quick lesson from our tour guides, and then I'm ready to roll. Awesome, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. Woo! All 
ready to get going. Wish me good luck. See you on the other side. <laughs> Turns out lots of folks are getting in on this kayaking thing and it's easy to see why. There's nothing like experiencing a river from right there on the surface. One of the best parts is just chilling out and sticking your feet in the water and letting the current do the work. But if you're feeling a little adventurous, you can race your friends or take a slide down the kayak chute to get a little taste of that white water action. all the times I've been to San Antonio. This was an experience like no other. It's a great way to check out the beautiful scenery and everything San Antonio has to offer. I wish I thought of this sometime sooner. It is great for everyone. You should come out. Mission Adventure Tours. Don't miss it. Want to check out the river for yourself? Head to missionadventuretours.com today and tell them AC sent you. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time, but in the meantime, don't forget, it's a big state to explore with adventure just around the corner. So get out there, Texas, you only live once.